Hi, this is Adele, and in this video, I'm going to talk about several different ways you can get unstuck in your painting. Everyone, and I mean everyone, beginners and advanced artists alike, everyone gets stuck in their painting. And there are several things you can do. Actually, there are a lot of things you can do, but I'm just going to go over several of them today and describe all the different, all the different ways you can do it. But before we get started, I wanted to introduce you to a fabulous program that I'm offering called Art with the Dell Membership. And this is a month to month membership. You want to make sure you join right away because we only have a week or so left of December and the price is $10 a month. But what's so great about this program, we already have lots of people in it. They're sharing their, 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 methods, they're sharing their paintings, they're asking for feedback, and we all support each other. You're going to learn so many things and you can get feedback. What you're going to learn is something that no other course has because this is an integrative developing course along the way. You are going to ask me questions. You're going to be able, I'm going to answer them right away. You're going to be able to give me feedback and suggest things you want to learn, anything and everything. And I'm going to do it month by month by month. Now, it, the special time right now is $10 a month and you will keep that price. The reason you want to join in now is because you're going to keep that price forever as long as you're in the membership. If you leave it, then you're going to have to come back in at the, the higher price. So join, join, join. We would love to have you. Now let's get started so I can tell you about how to get unstuck in your painting. One of the mo most frequent questions I get asked is how do I get unstuck in my painting? And Everyone, I just want you to know, everyone, every artist, whether you're beginning or whether you've painted for 30 years like I have, you're going to get stuck. Just expect you're going to come to a place where you're going to say, I don't know what to do next. So let me walk you through a few of the steps. These are five steps that I'm going to go over. There are a lot more steps that I have listed in a download below. So make sure you click that to get all the steps. But let's get started on this. The first one is no matter where you are in your painting, taking a photograph of it and then looking at it from a photograph is a whole different experience and seeing it in a more objective light. And you can even, I do this all the time, you can even take that photo and turn it into a black and white to see where you are as far as values. You want to, you want to make sure that you have a whole combination of values. But taking a photo is totally different and you'll see it differently. So many times I've done this and I've gone, oh, I see exactly what to do next. So that's number one. The second one is working on several pieces at one time. I personally always have several pieces, even if they're large canvases or small pieces of paper, I have several so that if I get stuck on one, I'm going to move to the next, move to the next and move to the next. And by, by doing that, sometimes, most of the time, by doing that, I have ideas that come up in working on the other ones. And by the time I get back to the other, the first one that got me stuck, I already know what I'm going to do, or at least I have an idea for the next step to get me past that unstuck stage. Now, the third thing that you can do is take a pause and get, you know, move away from the, from the painting that you're working on and do an exercise. So you're not thinking so much. You want to play and just experiment and you can do color mixing, just get out your color mixing. You'll all, you know, that's a great time to do that because you may end up coming up with the color that you hadn't thought about, but you mix and you're like, Oh, I might use that in my painting. Another one is, um, I have a, a video and I'm going to put it below so you can look at that. I have um, an exercise where you write prompts down, things to do, and you put them in a bowl and you just pull them out and then you do whatever it is that, you, that it says. And one of those actually, by doing that, might end up giving you an idea for the painting that you're stuck on. 
So that's really important. And I also have another video that I've done, and I'm going to leave that below too, where you just have a piece of paper. This is a quick, fast acting, so you're not thinking. And you put tape on it, and you're going to paint it. And then after it's all dry, you put the paint up, with put the tape up, and you're going to see something. Whether you do four of them or six of them, there's something that's going to spark an idea. It happens every time. I'm sure of it. So these are three things that you can do exercises while you're you know, to kind of start stimulating your creativity to think how to get unstuck. And the fourth one is, are you already judging? Now this happens a lot. And I want you to be aware of when in your painting that this is happening. Judging whether you like the piece, whether you don't like the piece. And then you, sometimes you just go to the end and think, oh, I don't like this. So I'm not going to do anything. I don't know how to move on. But this is the exact place you need to force yourself to go forward. And these are other ways that you can help, help yourself do that. And because judging it is going to just make you stop and think badly. And then you need ideas. You need to encourage that creativity. The fifth one is to give yourself, just write down three random prompts and force yourself, force yourself to go back into this painting that is that where you're, you don't know what to do next and do it in that painting. If you don't like what you've done, you can always go over it, but making a mark and sometimes just making yourself do something, um, anything. But I, this actually works for me because I have a direction and then I can immediately tell, oh, okay, I wouldn't have thought of doing that. Um, I might think, okay, do something on the edges or do a whole different shape or do some writing in it. But there are lots of different things that you can do, but you force yourself to go forward. Now, I have the download below that will give 12 steps, so there are more to this, but I wanted to just go over these five. I hope these really help, and let me know below if any of them that you like or that you're going to try and how they turn out. So, thanks for watching.